welcomes Michelle Obama, NBC Tonight. Are you considering all the pros and cons right now? I hope you know what you're doing. People are irrational, but can be persuaded. Welcome to Applied Psychology. I'm a professor first, but sometimes I work as a consultant. Who do you think you are? James Bond. Take out through my back out. The Irrational, September 25th on NBC and streaming on Peacock. Live on NBC 12. This is News Watch 12 at 10. Good evening, I'm Isabella Lisco. An all-girls summer camp in Minocqua held a ceremonial groundbreaking today on a new dining hall facility. In early April, Camp Agawak had their 102-year-old dining hall collapse under, under snow pressure. Our reporter Jake Force stopped by the camp on Blue Lake and has more on their next chapter. You know, I'm really excited for new beginnings, obviously. Um, we're going to make this lodge amazing, but we're going to keep the history and the traditions alive in a new building. And hopefully it'll be here for another 102 years. Although no one was injured when Camp Agawak's historic dining hall collapsed under heavy snow back in April, Mary Freed said the destruction unfortunately ruined much of the memorabilia inside. A lot of special pictures, um, plaques from all the way back from 1920s through, you know, the current day. Um, we lost um, a lot of memories. Freed said campers this past summer mostly ate under a tent that was set up in place of the dining hall. She said that while conditions were different... Camp Agawak ran business as usual. We had picnic tables inside, um, you know, dirt floor, and it was different, but the girls embraced it, and actually they walked into the tent and they were like, this is a pretty cool vibe. Um, it, we didn't really miss a beat at all this summer. Freed said that although many memories were lost in the collapse, the new facility presents an opportunity for a fresh start. I told the girls this summer it's going to be new beginnings. Those memories are going to... Um, be rebuilt here and it's a, a giant sisterhood and they're going to I think embrace the new building just like they did um, you know this past summer when it was a tent well Conrad it was really sunny yesterday mm -hmm. but today clouds and rain yeah a whole different day out there today right lots of cloud cover and much cooler guys fall weather is finally back take a look at these temperatures we just saw 80s and record-breaking 90s outside 50s are back and this is just the start of the cooler weather that has returned a couple of 60s still showing up there by wapaka stevens point area uh, all over i would say still down south a couple of 60s 40s are around the corner we did have some rain showers earlier today even a couple of rumbles of thunder i was outside recording a weather package and it was like an on and off type of rain but now things are calming down it is much much better outdoors and things will continue to improve the next 18 to 24 hours dew points are still a little high in some places but not too bad up here in Rhinelander. 50 is our dew point in Rhinelander. 53 in Eagle River, Lando Lakes by Manitowish Waters. Some mid 50s for dew points just down south in Tawasa. We do have a light breeze also around a five to 10 mile per hour breeze. Tonight things will go calm as temperatures finally fall near average around 50 degrees. Isabella. Thank you so much, Conrad. A former Wausau pastor who committed sexual assault on a young girl has been sentenced to life in prison. Delfino Figueroa was a former church leader at Song New Life Gospel Oasis. Figueroa began abusing the 10-year-old victim in 2014 after he began coming to her family home when her father experienced medical issues. This is the third time Figueroa has been convicted of sexually assaulting a child after previous convictions in 1995 and 2008. Safety is the focus as fall classes begin at the University of Madison, Wisconsin, Wednesday. That's after two incidents over the holiday weekend. One is the collapse of a pier that left students injured. The other is a brutal assault that landed a female student in the hospital. Administrators say they're taking the matter seriously. This is certainly not the way we hoped to begin this school year. And I know that so many of us in this room and your parents and families are feeling anger and grief and anxiety. Madison is generally quite a safe city.
but no place is completely safe. For the first time, UWPD will also have two therapy canines on campus. The Wisconsin Democratic Party has launched a new effort to pressure Republicans to back down from impeaching Janet Protasiewicz. The $4 million campaign will include digital and television ads, in-person voter outreach, and a website tracking where every Republican lawmaker stands on impeachment. The effort is meant to protect the newly acquired majority that liberals have gained on the state's Supreme Court. Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer said the impeachment threat is an effort to overturn an election that the liberal justice won by 11 points. What we are seeing is an unprecedented attack on our democracy in Wisconsin and an attempt by GOP legislators to override the results of the April election. Republicans control all levers of the impeachment process by holding majorities in the Assembly and State Senate partly because legislative maps have been drawn in their favor. The state party's leaders argue that Protasiewicz can't rule on a redistricting case because she said the maps are rigged. The legislative maps that we have in Wisconsin are gerrymandered, and they are unfair. The people of Wisconsin understand that multiple independent looks at these maps have made that very clear. A justice has never been impeached in Wisconsin history. The field is continuing to widen in the Democratic primary for Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District. Former La Crosse County Board Chair Tara Johnson announced her campaign to take on Republican Representative Derek Van Orden. She is now the third candidate to enter the race. She joins former small business owner Rebecca Cook and third-year Harvard Law student Aaron Knights as they campaign to get the nomination. Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District will likely be the state's most competitive race in 2024. The Dinky Diner was a staple of the Rhinelander community for years, until it burned down this spring. But the owners have announced they plan to bring their restaurant back. Owners of the Dinky Diner have announced they've purchased the Frazier's Kitchen Building on Brown Street in Rhinelander. The original Dinky Diner was destroyed during a grease fire in March. They hope to be open by next spring. Students said goodbye to summer break yesterday and returned to school. But for one school near Merrill, students and staff are unable to consume the school's well water. Our reporter Mohammed Abdul Kawi went to Merrill today to learn how the Pine River School is adapting. The Pine River School for Young Learners in Merrill is currently dealing with dangerously high levels of PFOS, something that the elementary school has never had an issue with. This is the first time that we were required to take a test for it. On August 24th, school administration was notified from the Wisconsin DNR about the dangerous PFOS levels. With the school year approaching, Dale Bergman says the district had to find a quick solution. Immediately set up a meeting with the DNR and the Department of Health Services to find out what actions we had to take to be able to notify our families and to try to remedy the situation. Meals that need water will be prepared at the Merrill High School kitchen. Students also returned to school this week, noticing new features located across the building. But then we took a bunch of voluntary actions, and that included bringing in bottled water. We put several different bottled water stations in the classrooms so that students could be able to brush their teeth and use drinking water out of those so we knew that that water was safe for them. Water with high levels of PFOS can be used for cleaning or washing hands, but it shouldn't be consumed. Pine River will use these new additions for now, but will get the water tested again in a few months. The safety of our students and staff is our utmost priority, so we want to make sure that everything that they take in their bodies and you know, wash their hands with and everything is clean and safe for them. Merrill Area Public Schools will continue to work with the DNR to make sure that these students have safe and clean drinking water. Reporting in Merrill, I'm Muhammad Abdul-Kawi, Newswatch 12. Rock band KISS played in Crandon last Friday, but also stopped by some local businesses. Coming up, we'll hear what it was like meeting the rock stars. That's after Weather with Conrad, right here on Newswatch 12. It's easy to see why people go out of their way for Hardy's signature Frisco burger and Frisco breakfast sandwich. Toasted sourdough with 100% Angus beef, bacon, and Swiss, or melty cheese, egg, and ham. Classic goodness only at Hardee's.
Birchfield Nurseries of Rhinelander has been servicing northern Wisconsin since 1950. Birchfield Nurseries grows all of their own plants and you will always find healthy, hardy, and well-maintained plants. Let their experienced staff answer any of your landscaping questions. They also handle shredded bark mulch, compost, and topsoil. For all your lawn care needs, they carry sod, premium gas seed, and lawn fertilizer. Consider one of the professional landscape crews to do the work for you. If you want experience with quality, call Birchfield Nurseries. Oh boy, would you look at that field goal he kicked right there! That looks fantastic! Boy, it looks like you need to stop at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun! Furniture and Guns? Yeah, they've got everything you need at great prices! Recliners, sofas, mattresses, and guns! Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will flow. Hardee's Double Deals pack double the charbroiled beef and melty cheese. Choose a double cheeseburger or bacon double cheeseburger starting at $2.99. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. Welcome back, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Temperatures are starting to get cool and crisp outdoors. 50s are returning. Couple of 60s still down south. Stevens Point area still has some mid 60s in the area. So not too bad. But things will get much, much cooler as this cold air from Canada continues to trickle down. That hot, those hot temperatures we had a few days ago, take a look at this, long gone now. Now it is in the northeast, and it will continue to stick around there for the next five days until cooler air takes over the country. We're talking 60s and 70s returning, a little mild mid-70s near average on Saturday, and then we cool off. Low to mid 60s by Sunday and then mainly into next week. We will continue to have slightly below average temperatures. Now is your time. Go outside, uh, dip your toes in the water, take a dive, maybe some cliff diving in Marquette. I've done that before. This is some quality stuff because as temperatures cool off, mainly overnight, those water temperatures will really start to cool off. And then guess what? 30s will be back. And then soon enough, the lakes will be freezing. So enjoy this weather while it lasts. So we did have some rain showers earlier today. It was on and off. Wasn't an all day event. I was outside for a few hours shooting a weather package. Definitely some on and off showers coming in strong and then leaving very quickly. Now things are clearing up. We are just under a cloudy sky. And by tomorrow, same story. Cloudy skies mainly for, I'd say, 80% of the day. And then later towards 6, 7, 8 p.m. is when we'll finally start to have some decrease in clouds. And we will possibly see peak of sunshine before sunset. Other than that, Friday into Saturday is your day to go tanning. But like I mentioned, cloud cover to around 7, 8 p.m. By sunset, then we clear up. Then by Friday into Saturday, it will be wonderful. Dew points are also going to be very low, not only Friday and Saturday, but right through Sunday into beginning of next week. Dew points will be very low, starting to spike slightly by Sunday morning, but nothing near uncomfortable levels or for it to feel sticky outside. Air quality, though, we're not too bad. We are actually in a green. We are good to go. But just west of town, look at all these advisories, air quality advisories all the way up and down Minnesota. And things are looking a little bit less quality out there. Tonight, though, cloudy skies, a couple of lingering sprinkles. Other than that, not too bad. Could crank open that window. Temperatures around 50 degrees. Tomorrow, around 60, a cool day, but cloudy skies and breezy conditions continuing. Our seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show a cooler temperature trend with chances of rain showers. Hours Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Isabella? Thank you, Conrad. A judge has ordered the removal of controversial buoys placed in the Rio Grande on the Texas Mexico border. That federal judge's order says the barrier must be moved to the riverbank by the end of next week. 
The wrecking ball-sized buoys were installed over the summer on orders from Texas Governor Greg Abbott. The U.S. Justice Department accused Texas of installing the barrier on the international boundary without permission. Abbott says the barrier is necessary to deter migrants from reaching the U.S., while critics say the barrier raises humanitarian concerns, fearing it could cause some to drown. The YMCA of the Northwoods held their first lunch and learn of the fall schedule. The Y partnered with the Oneida County Health Department for the first lunch and learn event since spring. Going forward, the first Wednesday of each month, the Y will bring people together for a meal and an expert speaker. I like to take our members and the community people and educate them on what are some resources and other opportunities around the community that they would be able to participate in. This month, the expert was Dr. Joel Ferda, who is a retired cardiologist. This is mostly uh, going to be a question and answer uh, period. Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, cardiovascular issues, uh, coronary artery disease, hypertension, uh, cholesterol problems, uh, stroke problems. About 40 people attended the event today. October's Lunch and Learn will feature a speaker on Medicare coverage. Everyone knows by now that KISS came to Crandon to play during their end of the road tour. But they also stopped by a couple of local businesses and met a lot of people. Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu spoke with some of them to learn about what the rock stars were like. So it was very nice to have him here, not only to embrace us, but the community as well. After KISS performed at the Crandon International Raceway, they stopped by some local businesses and met fans to show support for the area. One of their stops was Yeti's Drive-In. They were really nice, down-to-earth guys. They came in, walked up to the counter, ordered just like any other customer, put together some interesting concoctions, um, came outside, took pictures with fans. They were very gracious and patient. The event brought many customers to help benefit local businesses. It really is it's a big boom for all of the little businesses here. You know, we have um, the two drive-ins that benefit from the races. Um, we have all of the other areas restaurants, um, hotels, the casinos. I think it just benefits everyone having, you know, a big name come to a small town like this and then on top of the races. Gene Simmons also made a trip out to Rhinelander to visit CT's Deli where the owner, Chef Tom, got to cook for his longtime idol. He really embraced the deli and signed a lot of things for the employees and sat around with us and shook a lot of hands and just was very human. The Milwaukee Brewers were looking to avoid a sweep by division rival Pittsburgh today. Coming up, Saul Meyer will tell us if the Brew crew were able to get back into the win column. Cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. During September, there is a one in three chance the lightning ball strikes a set of two plays on Mega Bucks. When it does, players get an extra number, which means better odds of winning a prize. Jackpot not included. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Summer is in full swing at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg's Electrifying Summer Concert Series. Indigenous takes the stage in our highly anticipated final concert of the season. Doors open at 5 p.m. with opening act, Drab, kicking off the excitement at 6.30. And Indigenous will rock the stage starting at 8 p.m. Grab your advance tickets now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg's gift shop or by phone. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg, your destination for unforgettable music experiences. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading or get 0.9% APR and no monthly payments until 2024. Plus get over 3,200 total trade assistance on 2023 Sierra Denali 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. 
every summer weekend where we live should be a long summer weekend, enjoying the events and adventures that living up north has to offer. News Watch 12 takes its show on the road to Vilas County. Known for its lakes, trails, and quaint communities full of events and festivals for people of all ages, Vilas County is a summer destination. Come with us live at 4, 5, and 6 to see the spirit of the north from Vilas County on News Watch 12's long summer weekend. Coming up, we'll be joined with the Lakeland Food Pantry talking about all things donating food in the Northwoods. Oh, it's a very good thing to talk about as well. And some very fall-like weather on the way. I think you might like this, Michael. More when you tune in on your Thursday from 5 to 7 a.m. Lakeland Union girls basketball player Christina Wamet announced on Friday that she will be committing to Lehigh University to play college basketball. The junior wing had a standout freshman and sophomore season where she's racked up eight Division I offers in that time. Wamet was the, le the team's leading rebounder last year, was second in assists and scoring, and was co-great Northern Conference Player of the Year with her sister and teammate Juliana, who is, at, who is a current freshman at Lehigh. She credits her family, the academics, and the people as the main reason why she chose to be a Mountain Hawk. I've always kind of had a hint at it just because I really like something I've always wanted in this school is academics and Lehigh definitely has that and Juliana was very excited about it too so I just talked to her about it so it's always kind of been where I kind of knew but I knew for sure like when I went out and visited. Wilmette is heading into her junior year for the T-Birds and while this may have been an early commitment she says that it's the right one and she can't her see herself going anywhere else. I'm really excited about it, yeah. I know I wanted to go there, and I don't know, like, I just, I couldn't see myself other places, I guess. I mean, <laughs> it's a good opportunity. Well, Matt will start her junior season this November when Lakeland Union travels to Beaver Dam for a tournament in their first action of the year. The Milwaukee Brewers are still in first place in the NL Central Division, but their lead is starting to shrink, especially with the Chicago Cubs winning six out of their last eight games. The crew won their game on Tuesday, but dropped their Labor Day game to the Pittsburgh Pirates. So let's see who won this pivotal game three and took this series in Pittsburgh. Here in the first two on, game tied at zero, and Willie Adamas is there to break the tie. He hits this one like a cannon shot off a man of war as he goes high and deep and over the left field wall for a three-run homer to give the crew a comfortable lead in the first. But in the eighth, it was all hands on deck because the Pirates came back, but swashbuckler Mark Kana is able to get this ball past the infield, and that's going to score Sal Freelich to cut the lead to one. But it wasn't enough, though, as David Bednar makes William Contreras walk the plank, and the Pirates are going to go on to win this thing 5-4. to four. It's game week in Green Bay. The, P the Packers have their season opener this Sunday when they take on the division rival Chicago on the road to kick off 2023. There are a lot of major storylines this heading into this matchup and this season. Obviously, the Packers will be starting the season without Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre for the first time since 1992. But another storyline is the injuries on the offensive side of the ball and how head coach Matt LaFleur will deal with those week one. The one thing about this league is nobody cares. you got to find a way to, to get it done. And I think our guys have taken that mindset no matter who's out there. The expectations remain the same, and that is to go out there and, and play winning football. Another storyline this season for the Packers is the youth they have on their team and how head coach LaFleur plans to overcome the lack of experience compared to the other teams. It, it is different, but every year is different, and every year it presents different challenges, And um, but it's also exciting at the same time. I can't wait to see what these guys are able to do out there on game day. The Packers will start their regular season this weekend when they travel to Chicago to take on the Bears. We'll be right back after the break. Hi, I'm Kristen from Sleep Central on Highway 51 South in Manaqua, your bedding and futon headquarters. 
We carry the largest selection of name brand mattresses in northern Wisconsin, in stock and ready for immediate delivery. Beautyrest, Sealy, Serta, Stearns & Foster, and Tempur-Pedic. We also have a huge selection of accessories to complement your bedding purchase. Sleep Central also carries a wide variety of futons and unique bedroom furniture with quality all-wood construction. Better sleep, pain-free, that's our promise at Sleep Central in Minocqua, your one-stop sleep shop. Create the backyard of your dreams and get 11% off all concrete landscaping blocks at Menards. The season's not over. There's still time to build your patio. Holland pavers are a great way to create patios, walkways, and even a driveway. They're lightweight, easy to use, and have a classic style. The simple shape of these pavers open up many possibilities for patterns and designs. Holland pavers are only 49 cents each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Hello? Yeah, this is Russell Nicolay. Yeah, bald head, sunglasses, you got it. Yep. Billboards, baby. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, man. Hey, if they want the real Nicolay, they should get the real Nicolay. Thank you. Russell Nicolay here. Yeah, we can help. In a world full of choices, make sure you get the real Nicolay. Fake beard, really, man? Oh, come on, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? I don't know about that. <laughs> The new Miracle Blade World Class 2012 Professional Series is the best set of knives you'll ever own. The spectacular World Class 2012 Series, over a $300 value for just $39.95. But we're just getting started. We'll send you a complete second set of Miracle Blades for free. That's right, another entire set, a $300 value for free. Just pay shipping and processing. And we're still not done. If you're one of the first 500 callers, we'll send you two additional Miracle Blade World Class Slicers. That's an additional $80 value, totally free. Miracle Blade World Class is also guaranteed for life. We'll replace any damaged knife at any time for any reason for free forever. Over $600 worth of knives for just one payment of $39.95. Don't miss this opportunity. Call right now or just log on to MiracleBlade.com. A convicted killer walked his way free from a Pennsylvania prison by walking up a wall. The felon then pushed his way across razor wire, ran across a roof, scaled another fence, and pushed through more razor wire to escape. The prison says more than an hour passed from the time he scaled the wall until the escape siren sounded, long enough to buy him nearly a week on the run so far. Usually, a drought is highly problematic for agriculture, but for one important seasonal crop, a lack of weather may have actually helped production. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield visits the Minnesota pumpkin patch. All's quiet on this new prague farm, but not for long. And nature tells him to grow upside down so he doesn't hold water here. Fran Barton. Can kind of tell you this one will end up being a white one. And her son Joe are feeling out the harvest. And uh, what's her emotion as you look right now? Oh, sheer surprise and joy. And I don't even know if I can express it. For a while, though, things were looking bleak. After about two weeks, almost three weeks, only about five or ten percent had germinated. So that's not very good. Ninety percent of those pumpkins started about three weeks late, which was scary for this pumpkin picking family with 11 kids and 41 grandkids. And to me, I think the biggest joy is just seeing my family being so happy out here and being together. But the second joy is passing that on to people who have not been in the country. And now they know that they will be able to once again invite droves of guests out to the country. Thankfully, the hardy, deep-rooted crop doesn't need much water once it starts growing. Oh, isn't he just absolutely beautiful? It's pretty fortunate that with the little rain that we got, things are looking this good. And the weather seemed to dry up a pesky problem. I did not see one squash beetle this year. No bugs. But there are plenty of pumpkins in plenty of colors, shapes, and sizes planted with love. What is your hope with every pumpkin that they take home with them? That it brings them some joy. And I think it brings families together. Um, it does ours. Who would have thought that pumpkins would do all that? Action! Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge Labor Day sale at Slumberland Furniture. 
This awesome reclining sectional comes with a free recliner. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $3.98? Do not miss this one. For over 100 years, Sterling Optical has helped stylish people stay that way. But we don't think high style should have a high price. Because when we offer a complete pair of eyeglasses for $99, we're talking brands you love at a price you won't find anywhere else. $99 for a complete pair of designer eyeglasses. Just one more reason people keep coming back to Sterling Optical for all their vision needs. Book your appointment today. Sterling Optical, always in style. A 33-year-old woman has fenders and a new headlight installed on her bike, but the parts are badly designed and cause her to crash. She never walks again. She decides to hire Havish, Havish, and Rotier, and she receives $14.5 million. The Havish team negotiates with the headlight manufacturer in Germany, the fender company in Hong Kong, the fender designer in Madison, and the bike shop in Seattle. It is literally the opposite of one phone call and a quick settlement. Havish, Havish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. APR for 36 months plus 500 purchase allowance on the 2024 XT5 and XT6. Visit Ho-Chunk Gaming Akusa to experience exciting action on the hottest slot machines and electronic table games. With big fun, you get bigger rewards while playing with your Rewards Club card. Enjoy special gaming offers, food and entertainment discounts, and more. Hungry? No problem. Escape to the oasis of Swiftwater Lounge for drinks, food, and fun. We'll see you at Ho-Chunk Gaming Akusa, your place to play. I don't know how it's all going to fit. Action! Now at Slumberland, $9.99 gets you a lot. Like a Sealy Posturepedic mattress and an adjustable power base, both just $9.99. Need a twin? Get a Sealy starting at just $1.29. The huge Labor Day mattress sale. Only at Slumberland. Builder Service. We are your hometown hardware store. Plumbing, electrical, paint, automotive, keys, tools, lawn and garden. We're more than just a lumber yard. Highway 45 in Elko. Well, Conrad, today was a day for hot chocolate. Will tomorrow be for something else? I know. It was so much cooler. Were you tanning yesterday or no? You were probably working, <laughs> You right? know, I, I, was, I was at work, but yeah. I was ready to. And then today, you know. I know. We had 80s, record-breaking 90s. I yeah. know you like 90s. I uh, do. <laughs> I know. But yes, guys, cooler weather is back. We actually did have some rain showers earlier as well. Kind of like an on-and-off type of rain. No severe weather today. That was last night. But now, things are clearing up. Take a look at our seven-day outlook. Feel like fall weather? Guys, this is for you. 60s and 70s are back, and they're going to consistently stick around here, not only through this week and this weekend, right through next week. Our average high, let me mind you, is 74, 75 degrees around that, so we will be well below average. Thanks so much, Conrad, and thank you for joining us. Have a great night. It's easy to see why people go out of their way for Hardy's signature Frisco Burger and Frisco Breakfast Sandwich. Toasted sourdough with 100% Angus beef, bacon, and Swiss, or melty cheese, egg, and ham. Classic goodness only at Hardy's. Every summer weekend where we live should be a long summer weekend, enjoying the events and adventures that living up north has to offer. News Watch 12 takes its show on the road to Vilas County. Known for its lakes, trails, and quaint communities full of events and festivals for people of all ages, Vilas County is a summer destination. Come with us live at 4, 5, and 6 to see the spirit of the north from Vilas County on News Watch 12's long summer weekend. You've got this. Your big moment on their big day. The dress? Another one you'll never wear gift practical yeah you've got this just like associated banks got you with free overdraft protection transfers so when you get invited to your third destination wedding in as many months we'll be there with you when we first met todd we thought jen was kidding <laughs> <laughs> you've got this with associated bank for 46 years straight more of you have trusted ford f-series trucks to help save the day Stretch the weekend. Paul.
or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability. It's about yours. I've got home internet from T-Mobile. It only costs 50 bucks at T-Mobile. Just one cord to set up. Say goodbye to that.